Well, what's up again there, guys? Brian here, the three top scammer here to share with you. I know one of my requested top five list of videos to share with you guys today. Now, this idea was actually sent to me by this awesome viewer of mine during one of my live streams for Resident Evil 4 on Twitch. And so for this particular video, as I'm sure you can tell from the title, I'll be going over my top five favorite video game weapons. Now, just like in cinema, that has provided a lot of iconic weapons. I would even say video games has given us even more iconic weapons when it comes to, you know, swords or spears or guns or explosives or, you know, all types of creative weapons that are iconic in gaming. And these five are just the ones that I happen to enjoy, like, using the most. And much to my surprise, I recently just noticed that I actually do own a physical version of each one of these weapons, which I guess is a clear indication as for why I enjoy these weapons more than any other in gaming. So if you happen to enjoy this video by the end, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep track of me and all my future ideas. And if you happen to have any ideas that you think would make for a great either ranking tier list videos or top five list videos, make sure to share those ideas with me in the comments down below. So starting off with number five is probably my favorite weapon in survival horror history and most people don't wouldn't probably don't even remember this but it's actually the plasma cutter from the dead space series now there's actually a bigger version of this that i do plan on getting hopefully by the end of the year before the remake of dead space one comes out in january of next year uh this is from the dead space 2 collector's edition it's kind of small and you know it does light up a little bit but the reason i like the plasma cutter is i think out of any other weapon in dead space this is the one that's probably the most user friendly simply because of the simple functioning that it has three targeting sites that can fire like a simple plasma blast and that it can switch from vertical to horizontal now when it comes to killing necromorphs you have to cut off the limbs. You don't want to target the head off. Heck, if you target the head, typically the necromorph will go berserk and then you're going to be in some real trouble because it'll just start running at you and you know, cause some damage. So you usually will target the limbs. So the legs and the arms. So you'll stick to vertical shots for the arms and then horizontals for the legs or to have them lose their balance and then they have to start crawling towards you. And it's really, the, it, it really, for just about every single enemy, between, I would say, Dead Space 1 and 2, this really is just the, the, the typical fallback weapon. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of weapons that are built to deal with, you know, stronger enemies or bigger enemies or, you know, to set up perimeters or deal with mass groups of enemies, but it just always seemed that no matter what situation I was in, the plasma cutter was always a great weapon to fall back on. And I believe even in Dead Spaces 1 and 2, there's a trophy that you'll get if you actually do beat the game simply using the plasma cutter. So the fact that, you know, even the the creators acknowledge that is a prime reason as to why the plasma cutter is my favorite, not only gun in Dead Space, but my favorite primary, you know, firearm in survival horror games history, which is why it is number five on my list. Now going into number four on my list, we're going to have to visit the infamous franchise. And my fourth favorite weapon in gaming history has to go to the Amp from Infamous 2. Uh, now I actually built this Amp, like, there's, a, there's a couple components that I had to remove and I have to kind of uh, update this weapon a little bit. But this weapon uh, was made in, Dead Sp in uh, Infamous 2 and it was created after Cole lost his powers. Now this was actually designed by Zeke. And it basically allowed Cole to kind of focus his electric his electric power into physical strikes because before he would just use his fists, but this allowed it to not only focus it but amplify his strikes. Um, fairly basic, I know two prong. It, it it doesn't see, it's like it's more of a bludgeoning weapon, but when Cole charges it up, it can do some pretty serious damage. Um, but I just I just love the idea. I mean, love the coal the coils. Because that, you know, that, that definitely is a sign of channeling electricity or power in that case. Um, and, you know, there, there's a few parts about, I mean, I, I've made some personal customizations to my version of the amp. But uh, I just always felt that it was just, without question, just one of the best user weapons. Because it didn't need a blade. And it was a weapon that was designed for one person. So really only Cole would be the only one to use it. Now some would say, well, if Dustin got his price, he probably could use the amp too. Yeah, but he probably wouldn't look nearly as cool. And this weapon also fits into his sling perfectly. And I actually have two slings that Cole uses in Infamous 2 also. So it's the fact that this weapon was made for him. It looks best with him. He's the best one to use it. And it looks best when he equips it and, you know, just places it on its back is a primary reason as for why the amp from Infamous 2 is my fourth favorite video game weapon of all time. 
So now let's jump into number three. Now going into number three, we'll have to venture into the Kingdom Hearts franchise, and I'm sure you guys just from that note can guess what this weapon is. But it is, of course, going to the Keyblade. Now there are many, many, many variations of the Keyblade, and this one is to dub the Kingdom Keyblade. This is always, regardless of what Kingdom Hearts game you're playing, typically the first Keyblade weapon that you get. And um, to be quite simply, it is a giant magical key. It is used to unlock doors or to close doors between worlds. It is much like the Amp from Infamous 2. It's not necessarily a cutting weapon, although it you, you can typically cut it. It's more of a bludgeoning weapon. I don't know, maybe the, the key edge here can be used to, to cut and uh, if you happen to have one of these, it kind of makes you a Keyblade Master. And there have been several very powerful, skilled, and awesome Keyblade Masters um, you know, throughout the franchise. And, you know, I don't know when Kingdom Hearts 4 will come out. But this was just typically one of the best. Just It, it, just, it takes a simple object and turns it into an iconic weapon, which is a key. And it's a, and it's a pretty cool looking key in terms of color and design. And this one I wish could be two-handed, but I can only we can only hold this sucker with one hand. I wish this part wouldn't move around too much, but I've always liked how, you know, it always had the little, I, the Disney, you know, the Mickey Mouse symbol at the end of the keychain. You can, I believe in some of the games, you can actually customize the keychain and give it a couple of new abilities, so. That's always cool. So yeah, number three on my list has to go to the Keyblade from the Kingdom Hearts franchise. So now that you guys know that one, let's jump right into uh, number two on my list. Now for number two on my list, we will have to venture into the Devil May Cry franchise. Now, I actually did do a top five list video of my top five favorite devil arm weapons in Devil May Cry 5, which I'll be sure to leave a link if you wanna check out that video. But obviously the number one, weapon in that list is also number two on this list and that happens to go to the Yamato sword uh, this is the as, a, as far as I know currently standing in the storyline this is the last remaining weapon that belonged to the Dark Knight Sparta and it has been in the possession of practically every single bloodline member of the Sparta bloodline so it went from Sparta to Virgil to Dante to Nero back to Virgil and it is simply a katana, but it is a katana that actually has the power to cut through anything, including dimensions. It is very, very powerful. I think, obviously, this is, you know, Virgil's most iconic weapon, and I don't think anyone is able to use the Yamato as well as he is. And he just so happens to be my favorite Devil May Cry character of all time, even more so than Dante, even though Dante is the main character. But I just think that uh, Virgil is a bit more of a badass. Now, uh, there have been, a, there's, as, as far as I know, there are two variations of the Yamato. Um, the one I have here is the one he uses in Devil May Cry 3. Uh, you know, the, the heart, the, the handguard is, you know, circular shape as compared to how it is in Devil May Cry 5. And there's actually a, can't see it from here, there's actually a dragon logo at the top, which, you know, I just thought was, was pretty cool. So, yeah, and the funny thing is, is I never figured out, there's a certain, like, special bow that katanas have that I never actually figured out how to do it, but I don't know, maybe one day I'll take care of that. So, yeah, the Yamato from Devil May Cry franchise is my number two favorite video game weapon of all time, but it is only outclassed by one even more badass looking and hard to find uh, replica weapon on my list. So now that you guys know number two, it's time to go into the last weapon on my list and my all time favorite. And it just so happens to be number one and my favorite video game weapon of all time has to go to the iconic Blade of Chaos from the God of War franchise. This is the very weapon that was given to Kratos when he made his deal with the God of War Ares for him to destroy his enemies. And then Kratos would practically use this weapon for the remainder of his life. And he, you know, recently actually got it back or decided to start using his Blade of Chaos again in God of War 4. Uh... It, it, it's it's really great. I mean, he carries two of these. I only currently have one. I'm trying to get my hands on a second one. Uh, as he grows in power, there's been variations of the Blade of Chaos. There's been like the Blades of Athena, the Blades of Exile, but the Blades of Chaos were the original. And I think he goes back to using the Blades of Chaos in God of War 4. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, now, this replica 
is incredibly rare to find. I mean, you could probably find it on eBay, but it is expensive. I got this for like $200 when it first came out. Uh, these were really, really popular. And I absolutely love that the chain, I can, you can actually wrap it around your wrist. Uh, I'll try to demonstrate it. And I was actually surprised that it, it actually worked as well. <laughs> look at me trying to... Oh, God, please don't comment on how silly I look. Okay, I got it. All right, so you can actually look it, and it actually holds to my wrist pretty well. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I just, you know, the fact that it's, you know, it's the, it's, you know, I just think the fact that he's killed so many just creatures with this, and it's, and it's a short, way, and the, the thing, and the thing, the cool thing about the Blade of Chaos is that it is both a close range and a long range weapon, which none of the other main project the main melee weapons are uh the king you know the keyblade that is primarily a close range weapon though he can throw it as a special ability so i guess that can be semi long range the yamato simple it's kind of the same thing the amp is not a throwing weapon at all but this one has multiple lengths and the chain can actually extend so it gives it so the chain itself has powers of its own so it's probably the one weapon that is just the best overall user-friendly melee weapon in gaming history, which is why I love the Blade of Chaos so much and why it's probably going to remain my favorite video game weapon of all time. So now that you guys know my top five favorite video game weapons of all time, I would like to know what are your top five favorite video game videos, <laughs> favorite video game weapons of all time. Share your list with me and everyone else in the comments down below. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I'll see you next time.